Hey everybody, just a quick update on treatments and where we are. So uh, this video is being made the 25th, which is today, Monday. Uh, but I went up for treatment in Mayo, which would have been my start of my fifth cycle, 21st treatment on the 18th, which was last Monday. Good morning, uh, Monday the 18th, Mayo Clinic. On my way over for a chest x-ray. I've been walking for about a minute my legs are dead tired. It's not a good sign. <laughs> I have a weird feeling about today, meaning I'm, I'm, I'm anxious to find out what's going on and get some new treatment, but I'm not excited about what I know is to come. So we're just gonna rock and roll, see how I do. First thing we're doing, 7.15 a.m chest x-ray, see if I have some fluid in my pleural cavity because I can barely breathe right now. Um, then we're going to floor blood test and then meeting with Dr. Gertz at 9.15 I believe so. And then I'm going to the oncology room after that, actually a couple of consults after that and then to the oncology room for my trial, a double blind trial for my synthetic antibody infusion so big day ahead uh, went up there actually just for the double blind study uh, for my, my trial for the antibody infusions to uh, to heal me and to kill the amyloids off of my heart so when we, we did some testing and whatnot and while I was there I said well let's just even though we have some insurance issues back here we decided that we're gonna go ahead and move forward with the treatments up there and until we get the insurance squared away, I'm just gonna keep going up every month. So uh, went up to, to Mayo on the, the 18th or the 17th, but the 18th was Monday, did the double blind study. And then on oh, Wednesday and Thursday, I mean Tuesday and Wednesday, which was the 19th and the 20th, I had the uh, IV infusions for the, the chemotherapy for the healing agent. So the synthetic antibody infusion is about a three hour process. And I spent most of that time on the phone with Blue Cross Blue Shield attempting to figure some things out to get my treatments covered in Las Vegas. <laughs> Unbelievable. So I'm not taking any more pills because the pills threw me into arrhythmia and uh, atrial fibrillation. So while I was up there during my the two days, which is Tuesday and Wednesday of last week of treatment, they ran a bunch of tests to, to find out what was going on because I was complaining about the bloating and all that. So morning, Tuesday the 19th, had no before my 7.30 a.m. appointment. I'm getting an echocardiogram today. I'm trying to figure out what's up with my heart. Stomach's distended, some fluids in there. So we are attempting to uh, figure that out. Uh, if you look at my eye, it would be my left eye. You can see some, I would think called purpura, which looks like a bruise. And that's quite common for amyloidosis patients. So getting those quite a bit. Long day ahead. Hi there. <clears throat> Just finished up with infusions. Carfilzomib, now heading down for the cardiologist. He's the specialist in cardiology for amyloidosis, so I'm very excited to see him. Uh, legs get tired when I walk. Can't even run to the refrigerator, you know what I mean? So we're gonna figure this out. So what they found was is that because my heart went into AFib, it was even more ineffective and inefficient than it was, and it was causing some fluid to build up. And so my real weight's about 210-ish, but I'm probably less than that even because of the lack of muscle. And I weighed in at like 221 or 224, something like that. So I felt I had like, you know, 15, 16, 17 pounds of liquid on me uh, from the ineffective heart. So when you see people with bad hearts, you oftentimes see with them edema, which means they have the, the thick ankles and whatnot. And mine was just like around my stomach. Uh, but it didn't have pockets like it did before where they could put the needle in and suck it out. So they had to literally drain me out. So which I checked into the hospital, to St. Mary's Hospital on Wednesday afternoon after my IV treatment. So as much as I don't want to be here, I'm glad I'm here because once they do these procedures, I feel great. I can operate at a high level. I can walk, talk without getting tired. And then plus 
uh, they're going to convert my heart back to a sinus rhythm. So anyway, it's uh, it's just the journey. It's just another couple days, and um, you know, my kids are at school. I don't have any sporting events to go to, and I'm really blessed. I don't have any events this week. Uh, next week, I've, I've got a lot of work to do, but the following week, I've got four keynote talks. Uh, back to back. You know, two in Arizona, fly out to uh, Boston for a keynote talk for uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield, ironically, ironically. <laughs> and then two breakout sessions. So that is a full day where I'll be doing an hour, an hour, 45 minute keynote followed by two hour and a half breakouts. So to not feel well and to not be able to breathe is very difficult to do that. And so I'll be feeling like a champ next week and that's the goal. So I appreciate you for being here with me and, and, and supporting me and having such a winning attitude. So that's Absolutely. incredible. I'm thrilled we're here. I'm thrilled they're taking it. So here we are from St. Mary's Hospital in Rochester, Minnesota. A little curveball. Thought I was leaving home today and flying home and being home in Vegas on Wednesday night, but that is not happening. Because they're so amazing, they're taking care of it and making it happen. That's what's great about this place. Yeah. So another thing that I do, just uh, uh, funny enough, I make these uh, uh, videos for Redondo High School uh, for their football team. Uh, and uh, I've been doing it for three or four years, one of their boosters. Uh, started the process and so I make a video every week for the guys going into the next game and so uh, I made the video today from Mayo because I'm not going to be back in the studio so just I'll be in the hospital here today editing the video and sending it out uploading it to YouTube so they can have it for Thursday's practice tomorrow so you know it's just life never changes you just have to adapt like everybody does and just push through it you know it's like an athlete to has to make changes in the middle of a game or something at work doesn't go well, you just gotta make adjustments. You just gotta make adjustments and move. So, you know, there's a lot of ways you can look at this, but for me it's just another day with a little couple couple road bumps and we're moving on. Yeah. So anyway, thank you for all your support. Appreciate it. And I'm so excited that you got to meet Gina and she's at Mayo and she's gonna get herself back on track and get healthy and that meant so much to me that she was here and Anyway, thank you. For your, thanks for sharing all of the, the YouTube videos. And they hooked me up to an IV with diuretics and they just basically started draining me. So in order to get my heart back to where it was, they're gonna do a cardiac conversion, which means well, they put the pump, the paddles on you like you see on TV, but boom, and the, the shock sends your heart back into normal rhythm. They had to decrease some of the fluids off me because they felt that the pressure of the fluids on my diaphragm and my heart would not allow the heart to stick into normal rhythm. So, checked in the hospital on Wednesday. So after I was admitted to the hospital, we received full security escort up to the room. <laughs> Jennifer and I were both just laughing. Did the, uh, started draining me out. And uh, bottom line is, is uh, the next morning, I had lost about six or seven pounds. So they went in and we did the cardio conversion, boom, back into what's called sinus rhythm. And then they continued to drain me off for another day and a half. So went in there at 220 something, came out at 206.8. And uh, they released me on Saturday morning. So the bottom line is I got back Saturday morning. I feel really good. I mean, I feel really, really good. Best I've felt in a long, long time. All right, Saturday the 23rd of September 2017. It's about 11.10 uh, Central Time. Kid released from the hospital today at the Mayo Clinic. It's called St. Mary's Hospital in Rochester. So um, I was at the Mayo Clinic on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Checked in here on Wednesday. I was here Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and today's Saturday I'm checking out. So it's been a really long week. So I'm ready to go, feel great. And here's what we learned that is that amyloidosis patients are, are very, very sensitive to salt. So um, I have cardiac amyloidosis and so it affects your heart. So typically they put heart patients on a salt restrictive diet. So they had me kind of on the same thing, you know, 2000 milligrams of, of, of sodium a day. Well, the amyloidosis just makes it so much more sensitive. So literally, you can, 
go over by 100 gram, 100 milligrams, or like the doctor said, you go out to, to dinner and you order a, just a chicken breast and no seasoning or no salt, but when they shipped it, they got it in from so-and-so and it's been soaking in this kind of water and it's got sodium in it. It can literally just throw you over the top. And then you start retaining water and then your heart gets less, uh, less efficient, less functional, and then you just start going into a tailspin. So that's what we really learned is that, uh, you know, the amyloidosis is really, really salt sensitive. And so I have to be really, really careful about the sodium that, that, I, that I intake, which uh, my diet is fantastic, but now just really realizing that uh, it's, it's playing at another level here. So here we go, you know, another uh, little rule to play by. Uh, but I had my treatment, uh, this trial on Monday, just the antibody uh, double blind study with the synthetic antibodies, I had it on Monday. Tuesday I had uh, one day of the chemo, Wednesday one day of the chemo, and then we came in the hospital here to get all the fluid out of my body. <clears throat> extra fluid uh, and get my heart back into sinus rhythm so we did a cardiac conversion and it got me back into uh, cardiac conversion and boom just like on TV baby uh, and got me back into normal rhythm and so I'm ready to go home man I'm so ready to go home but I'm doing good thanks for your thoughts and prayers <clears throat> just another understanding about the amyloidosis that, uh, that I didn't know previously I went for a walk with Jennifer on Sunday Today's Monday, I had a full day of work and just got back from meeting the real Brad Lee over at Lightspeed. We're talking about my training platform. Uh, and I, and uh, so all is good. So that's the update though, but I'm back on uh, chemo treatments and until we get the, the insurance straightened out, I'm just flying up there every week to get these the treatments. The good news is in this particular IV for the healing serum, it's only three weeks on, one week off, three weeks on, one week off. So. I fly up there two more times, I'm leaving tomorrow morning, ironically, flying up there early, get in tomorrow afternoon, do another chemo treatment, get up the next morning, do another chemo treatment on Wednesday, fly back to Vegas, boom, back on track for business. So that's what's happening, that's what we're gonna do. I feel really good about it. Um, I feel confident, see myself uh, healing on this journey for success. And so it's just, that's the update for what's happening. I feel so much better since they drained the fluid off my body and my heart's working more effectively now back in this, into sinus rhythm. So thank you for your continued support. I appreciate all the thoughts and prayers and I'm gonna continue to do what I do and and win this battle and uh, we are we're gonna make it happen. So uh, thank you again for your support. I'm out.